hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, 
then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Ripping it out rips them up. I can't cleanse them, I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time, and very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type, I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. So, 
Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. There it is again, a welcome message. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that.
Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Communications are on the right track. Object of power. Looks like the hiss of last on the We need to cleanse it. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director.
Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. This must open the door. Stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The, the hotline can't be far now. <laughs> 